Hi, my name is Megan Ellison, and this is my professional disposition video. My answer to number one is that I would be a successful teacher because I'm passionate about the well-being of my students on an emotional level. Um, compared to other teachers I've worked with, I find myself being more considerate of my students' emotions and encourage them to take the time that they need to calm down when they need it or offering a listening ear when they want to talk. Um, I make it a priority to understand the needs of every student as an individual instead of just looking at what I can do for my class as a whole. Not everyone can learn the same way and I need to make sure I'm offering all my resources that I've learned to become a teacher to encourage the growth of every child that enters my classroom. Um, for number two, I said, before I have my own classroom, I need to learn how to encourage active inquiry and support curiosity in a better way. Um, in my past classrooms, I found myself coming up with lesson plans that I think my students would just be able to easily understand and have little confusion about, but the truth is that that might not be good for them and they need to be able to open their minds and think deeper about topics. I need to learn how to accept all questions and leave room for my students to explore topics deeper than the information that I provided for them. A good way to do this would be to encourage small groups where students can collaborate their ideas and share them with the class, which may be different than my own. Uh, this would be good for every student to hear different opinions or ideas about something and not just take everything I say as being the only way. Um, the dispositions allow for understanding, oh sorry, this is number three. The dispositions allow for understanding of different cultures, genders, and learning differences by encouraging teachers to be sensitive to the needs of every student and embrace cultural differences of the community. Teachers need to be careful to avoid bias as it can appear in the smallest ways that we may not even notice, such as favoring students that are girls because they pay attention better and require less um, overall. They don't need to be told what to do as much. and um, Or maybe paying attention to students that get their work done without needing any help. Um, it's easy to favor those students because they require less from you as a teacher and sometimes it's hard to pay attention to every single student that doesn't understand something. Um, biases can affect the education that students are receiving and can impact their lives if they feel they aren't getting the support they need because of something they can't control. So we need to be careful that we're not judging a student something that they can't control and we need to offer our help to every single student that needs it. Um, I will t For number four, I said I will take my annual performance evaluations into great consideration at the end of every year because any opinion that is shared is important and can help me become a better teacher. Um, if there are any concerns about my teaching practices, then I can look back at the dispositions and adjust my approach towards how I teach my class and how I take the needs of every student into consideration.